a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Gavin Newsom Gavin Christopher Newsom is an American politician and businessman who is governor-elect of California. A member of the Democratic Party, he has been the 49th Lieutenant Governor of California since 2011, and previously served as the 42nd Mayor of San Francisco from 2004 to 2011. On January 7, 2019, he will be sworn in as the 40th Governor of California. He is a national progressive figure who was a prominent early advocate for same-sex marriage, universal health care, and the legalization of cannabis. Newsom attended Redwood High School and graduated from Santa Clara University. After graduation, he founded the Plump Jack Wine Store with family friend Gordon Gitty as an investor. The Plump Jack Group grew to manage 23 businesses, including wineries, restaurants, and hotels. Newsom began his political career in 1996, when San Francisco Mayor Willie Brown appointed him to serve on the city's Parking and Traffic Commission, and as a member of the Board of Supervisors the following year. In 2003, Newsom was elected the 42nd Mayor of San Francisco, the city's youngest in a century. Newsom was re-elected in 2007 with 72% of the vote. He was elected Lieutenant Governor of California in 2010, alongside Jerry Brown, and was re-elected in 2014. In February 2015, Newsom announced his candidacy for Governor of California in 2018. On June 5, 2018, he finished in the top two of the nonpartisan blanket primary and defeated Republican John H. Cox in the gubernatorial election on November 6. Newsom was formerly married to former Fox News on era personality Kimberly Guilfoyle and has four young children with his second wife, filmmaker Jennifer Siebel Newsom. He hosted The Gavin Newsom Show on Current TV and wrote the 2013 book Citizenville. Early Life Gavin Christopher Newsom was born in San Francisco, California to Tessa Thomas and William Alfred Newsom III, a retired state appeals court justice and attorney for Gitty Oil. He is a fourth-generation San Franciscan. His father is of mostly Irish descent. One of Newsom's maternal great-grandfathers, Scotsman Thomas Addis, was a pioneer scientist in the field of nephrology and a professor of medicine at Stanford University. Newsom is the second cousin, twice removed, of musician Joanna Newsom. Newsom's parents separated when he was two and divorced in 1972. At age 10, Newsom moved with his mother and sister to nearby Marin County. In May 2002, his mother died following a five-year fight with breast cancer. While Newsom later reflected that he did not have an easy childhood, he attended kindergarten and first grade at the French-American bilingual school in San Francisco. He eventually transferred because of severe dyslexia that still affects him. His dyslexia has made it difficult for him to write, spell, read, and work with numbers. He attended third through fifth grades at Notre Dame des Victoires, where he was placed in remedial reading classes. In high school, Newsom played basketball and baseball, and graduated from Redwood High School in 1985. Newsom was an outfielder in baseball and his baseball skills placed him on the cover of the Marin Independent Journal. Tessa Newsom worked three jobs to support Gavin and his sister Hilary Newsom Callan, who is the president of the Plump Jack Group, named after the opera Plump Jack composed by family friend Gordon Gitty. In an interview with the San Francisco Chronicle, his sister recalled Christmas holidays when their mother told them there wouldn't be any gifts. Tessa opened their home to foster children, instilling in Newsom the importance of public service. His father's finances were strapped in part, because of his tendency to give away his earnings. Newsom worked several jobs in high school to help support his family. Newsom attended Santa Clara University on a partial baseball scholarship, where he graduated in 1989 with a BS in political science. Newsom was a left-handed pitcher for Santa Clara, but he threw his arm out after two years and hasn't thrown a baseball since. He lived in the Alameda Apartments, which he later compared to living in a hotel. He later reflected on his education fondly, crediting the Jesuit approach of Santa Clara that he said has helped him become an independent thinker who questions orthodoxy. 
While in school, Newsom spent a semester studying abroad in Rome. Newsom's aunt was married to Ron Pelosi, the brother-in-law of former Speaker of the United States House of Representatives Nancy Pelosi. Business career On May 14, 1991, Newsom and his investors created the company Plump Jack Associates LP in 1992. The group started the Plump Jack winery with the financial help of his family friend Gordon Gitty. Plump Jack was the name of an opera written by Gitty, who invested in 10 of Newsom's 11 businesses. Gitty told the San Francisco Chronicle that he treated Newsom like a son and invested in his first business venture, because of that relationship. According to Getty, later business investments were, because of, the success of the first. One of Newsom's early interactions with government occurred when Newsom resisted the San Francisco Health Department requirement to install a sink at his Plump Jack wine store. The health department argued that wine was a food and required the store to install a $27,000 sink in the carpeted wine shop on the grounds that the shop needed the sink for a mop. When Newsom was later appointed supervisor, he told the San Francisco Examiner, that's the kind of bureaucratic malaise I'm going to be working through. The business grew to an enterprise with more than 700 employees. The Plump Jack Cafe Partners LP opened the Plump Jack Cafe, also on Fillmore Street, in 1993. Between 1993 and 2000, Newsom and his investors opened several other businesses that included the Plump Jack Squaw Valley Inn with a Plump Jack Cafe, a winery in Napa Valley, the Balboa Cafe Bar and Grill, the Plump Jack Development Fund LP, the Matrix Fillmore Bar, Plump Jack Wines Shop No Valley Branch, Plump Jack Sport Retail Clothing, and a second Balboa Cafe at Squaw Valley. Newsom's investments included five restaurants and two retail clothing stores. Newsom's annual income was greater than $429,000 from 1996 to 2001. In 2002, his business holdings were valued at more than $6.9 million. Newsom gave a monthly $50 gift certificate to Plump Jack employees whose business ideas failed. Because in his view, there can be no success without failure. Newsom sold his share of his San Francisco businesses when he became mayor in 2004. He maintained his ownership in the Plump Jack companies outside San Francisco that included the Plump Jack Winery in Oakville, California. New Plump Jack owned Cade Winery in Angwin, California, and the Plump Jack Squaw Valley Inn. He is currently the president in absentia of Airel Wines Incorporated, which is connected to the Plump Jack Winery in Napa County. Newsom earned between $141,000 and $251,000 in 2007 from his business interests. In February 2006, he paid $2,350,000 for his residence in the Russian Hill neighborhood, which he put on the market in April 2009, for $2,995,000. Early political career Newsom's first political experience came when he volunteered for Willie Brown's successful campaign for mayor in 1995. Newsom hosted a private fundraiser at his Plump Jack Cafe. In 1996, Brown appointed Newsom to a vacant seat on the Parking and Traffic Commission, and he was later elected president of the commission. In 1997, Brown appointed him to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors seat vacated by Kevin Shelley. At the time, he became the youngest member of San Francisco's Board of Supervisors and also, like Shelley before him, the board's only heterosexual Caucasian male. Newsom was sworn in by his father and pledged to bring his business experience to the board. Brown called Newsom, part of the future generation of leaders of this great city. Newsom described himself as a social liberal and a fiscal watchdog. Newsom was subsequently elected to a full four-year term to the board in 1998. In 1999, San Francisco's voters chose to exchange at large elections to the board for the previous district system. And Newsom was re elected in 2000 and in 2002 to represent the second district, which includes the Pacific Heights, Marina, Cow Hollow, Sea Cliff, and Laurel Heights. He faced no opposition in his 2002 re election. His district had the highest income level and the highest Republican registration in San Francisco. In 2000, Newsom paid $500 to the San Francisco Republican Party to be on the party's endorsement slate.
As a San Francisco supervisor, Newsom gained public attention for his role in advocating reform of the city's municipal railway. He was one of two supervisors endorsed by Rescue Muni, a transit riders group, in his 1998 re-election. He sponsored Proposition B to require Muni and other city departments to develop detailed customer service plans. The measure passed with 56.6% of the vote. Newsom sponsored a ballot measure from Rescue Muni. A version of the measure was approved by voters in November 1999. Newsom also supported allowing restaurants to serve alcohol at their outdoor tables, banning tobacco advertisements visible from the streets, stiffer penalties for landlords, and a resolution to commend Colin Powell for raising money for youth programs that was defeated. Newsom's support for business interests at times strained his relationship with Labour leaders. During Newsom's time as supervisor, he supported housing projects through public-private partnerships to increase home ownership and affordable housing in San Francisco. Newsom supported HOPE, a failed local ballot measure that would have allowed an increased condo conversion rate if a certain percentage of tenants within a building were buying their units. As a candidate for mayor, he supported building 10,000 new housing units to create 15,000 new construction jobs. As supervisor, Newsom had as his centerpiece a voter initiative called Care Not Cash, which offered care, supportive housing, drug treatment, and help from behavioral health specialists for the homeless in lieu of direct cash aid from the state's general assistance program. Many homeless rights advocates protested against the initiative. The successfully passed ballot measure raised the political profile of Gavin Newsom and provided the volunteers donors, and campaign staff that helped make him a leading contender for the mayorship in 2003. 2003 election Newsom placed first in the November 4, 2003, general election in a nine-man field. Newsom received 41.9% of the vote to Green Party candidate Matt Gonzalez's 19.6 in the first round of balloting. But he faced a closer race in the December 9 runoff when many of the city's liberal groups coalesced around Gonzalez. The race was partisan with attacks against Gonzalez for his support of Ralph Nader in the 2000 presidential election, and attacks against Newsom for contributing $500 to a Republican slate mailer in 2000 that endorsed issues Newsom supported. Democratic leadership felt that they needed to reinforce San Francisco as a Democratic stronghold after losing the 2000 presidential election and the 2003 recall election to Arnold Schwarzenegger. National figures from the Democratic Party, including Bill Clinton, Al Gore, and Jesse Jackson, campaigned on Newsom's behalf. Five supervisors endorsed Gonzalez while Newsom received the endorsement of Willie Brown. Newsom won the runoff race, capturing 53% of the vote to Gonzalez's 47% and winning by 11,000 votes. Newsom ran as a business-friendly centrist Democrat and a moderate in San Francisco politics. Some of his opponents called him conservative. Newsom claimed he was a centrist in the Dianne Feinstein mold. He ran on the slogan, Great Cities, Great Ideas, and presented over 21 policy papers. He pledged to continue working on San Francisco's homelessness issue. Newsom was sworn in as mayor on January 3, 2004. He called for unity among the city's political factions and promised to address the issues of potholes, public schools, and affordable housing. Newsom said he was, a different kind of leader, who, isn't afraid to solve even the toughest problems. 2007 election San Francisco's progressive community attempted to find a candidate to run a strong campaign against Newsom. Supervisors Ross Mirkarimi and Chris Daly considered running against Newsom, but both declined. Matt Gonzalez also decided not to challenge Newsom. When the August 10, 2007, filing deadline passed, the discussion around San Francisco shifted to talk about Newsom's second term. He was challenged in the election by 13 candidates that included George Davis, a nudist activist, and Michael Powers, owner of the Power Exchange Sex Club. Conservative former supervisor Tony Hall withdrew by early September due to lack of support. The San Francisco Chronicle declared in August 2007 that Newsom faced no serious threat to his re-election bid, having raised $1.6 million for his re-election campaign by early August. He won re-election on November 6, 2007 with over 72% of the vote.
Upon taking office for a second term, Newsom promised to focus on the environment, homelessness, health care, education, housing, and rebuilding San Francisco General Hospital. Mayoralty As mayor, Newsom focused on development projects in Hunters Point and Treasure Island. He signed the Health Choices Plan in 2007 to provide San Francisco residents with universal health care. In 2004, Newsom gained national attention when he directed the San Francisco City County Clerk to issue marriage licenses to same-sex couples. In violation of the state law passed in 2000, implementation of Care Not Cash began on July 1, 2004. As part of his Care Not Cash initiative, 5,000 more homeless people were given permanent shelter in the city. About 2,000 people have been placed into permanent housing with support. Other programs initiated by Newsom to end chronic homelessness include the San Francisco Homeless Outreach Team, and Project Homeless Connect. On October 27, 2004, during a strike by hotel workers on a dozen San Francisco hotels, Newsom joined Unite Here Union members on a picket line in front of the Westin St. Francis Hotel. He vowed that the city would boycott the hotels by not sponsoring city events in any until the hotels agreed to a contract with workers. The contract dispute was settled in September 2006. In 2005, Newsom pushed for a state law to allow communities in California to create policy restricting certain breeds of dogs. He requested that then-state Senator Jackie Spire introduce a change to then-existing California law, which stated that counties could not target specific breeds of dog. The Animal Control Agency under his direction created a Working Dog Task Force report that cited Denver, Colorado, as a best practice for a law in California. In 2009, Newsom came under attack for his implementation of the City of San Francisco's Sanctuary City Rule, under which the city was to not assist U.S. immigration and customs enforcement. In 2009, Newsom received the Leadership for Healthy Communities Award along with Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York City and three other public officials for his commitment to making healthful food and physical activity options more accessible to children and families. In 2008, he had hosted the Urban Rural Roundtable to explore ways to promote regional food development and increased access to healthy affordable food, and he secured $8 million in federal and local funds for the Better Streets program, which ensures that public health perspectives are fully integrated into urban planning processes. He signed a menu labeling bill into law, requiring that chain restaurants print nutrition information on their menus. In 2010, Newsom was named America's Most Social Mayor by Same Point. Based on analysis of the social media profiles of mayors from the 100 largest cities in the United States, that same year, Newsom was removed from the San Francisco County Democratic Central Committee because, according to SFCDCC Chairman Aaron Peskin, Newsom no longer resided in the city. Homelessness in 2002, then San Francisco Supervisor Newsom promoted the Care Not Cash program which cut county general assistance programs to be replaced with housing and other forms of service. He also promoted a 2003 ban on aggressive panhandling which included a ban for panhandling on public transportation and near ATMs. It also prohibited repeatedly soliciting money, blocking the way, touching, or following a person while soliciting, or intentionally trying to intimidate. On June 30, 2004, then Mayor Newsom pledged to fix San Francisco's homeless problem within 10 years and clear downtown streets of its widespread homeless population. He stated that people who were homeless and seriously ill would be given shelter. After 10 years and $1.5 billion, the city relocated 19,500 people off the streets, with 11,363 single adults being housed and 8,086 people being sent to the home of a willing family member or friend through the Homeward Bound program. Before the program in 2002, there was a 8,640 generally homeless and 4,535 street homeless population in San Francisco. After the program was initiated, the homeless population dropped 28% by 2005 with a generally homeless population of 6,248 and a 2,655 street homeless population. 
However, after 2005, the homeless population has stayed approximately the same. In fact, the San Francisco population of homeless rose 3% between 2005 and 2013. The percentage of the homeless population in jail was cut in half between 2005 and 2013, which is an indicator that some of the homeless population who would have ended up in jail were now being housed and treated. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?